So uh, basically, like uh, for every set, we know whether it is contained in A or not contained in A, or uh, meaning like exactly one of these. Yeah. So it cannot happen that a set is not in A and not not uh, outside A. Also, it cannot happen that it's it's uh, like the both things both things happen at the same time. And if you if you think about this, then this is mm, somewhat somewhat a reasonable reasonable condition. Like uh, if we have some lists of elements, like for every element, it should be very clear whether it it is on the list or whether it's uh, not on the list. Okay. So unfortunately, this won't work. Uh, I will I will show you uh, that uh, this uh, creates a paradox in in the set theory. Okay, so um, um, so this this thing I'm going to going to describe is uh, called uh, Russell's paradox, and uh, probably it is uh, the most uh, most famous thing. A uh, uh, great uh, logician and mathematician Russell um, ever done. It's uh, the most uh, most famous thing. Okay, so first of all, what about set of all sets? So you can clearly uh, say yes, this is a set. Why? It's a list of sets. And for every set, it's uniquely determined whether the set is lies in the set or not. Every set lies there, so uh, so this this first possibility holds for everything. Yeah. So so it's very very simple like this. Okay. So this is a set according to our understanding. Now, um, if you would like to work with this set, uh, you would like to uh, be able to um, pick some subsets of them. Yeah, so, so what I mean by subset? Imagine that you have some kind of uh, logic formula, um, meaning that uh, for every every set, this formula is either true is uh, or false. Yeah. So if we have a set A, we can take only some elements of from this set in such a way that A prime are all the elements contained in A such that this this logic uh, formula uh, this logic formula C psi or whatever is um, is true. Yeah. So um, let, let me give you some example of this. But uh, for example, what A is set of uh, natural numbers, yeah, sometimes denoted n, and let, let psi uh, psi x be the formula whether x is even number. So. Uh, then uh, a prime will be set of all elements which satisfy this logic formula, but uh, meaning that it will be a set of all even numbers. Yeah? Okay, so um, if you are uh, going to going to work with with the set, you would like to be able to to select subsets according to some some condition. Yeah, so the uh, the second uh, the second um, st the second like um, precondition is uh, like pretty much pretty much natural thing, and everyone was was using it in mathematics. Okay, so we are going to take uh, the set of all sets, and we will take some subset of it. Yeah, so but A is set. Of all sets, yeah, and we are going to uh, consider uh, consider mm, like uh, the following following formula: 
cosine x is 1 if x lies if x does not lie in x and 0 if x lies in x like x is some set and we ask whether x contains itself yeah. and if, if x contains itself yeah, then it do, it the formula is not satisfied and if x does not contain itself then it is satisfied okay so we take this a and we go to a prime which is set of all sets not containing itself yeah so for example uh, for example a does not lie in a prime uh, because a contains all the sets so uh, especially a lies in a if all the sets lies there then also a lies there so a does not lie in a prime okay and uh, what i'm going to what i'm going to uh, show now that this third step this set a prime does not exist that's contradictory by 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 the definition okay and so what we are going to do is we are going to look at one specific element whether it lies in a prime and the specific element is a prime uh, so the key question is whether whether a prime lies in a prime and so what we can do we can mm, you can basically like uh, try both both possibilities okay so so if a prime lies in a prime yeah then we have set which contains itself uh, a prime contains itself but if a prime contains itself uh, this is this possibility then the value of psi for a prime is equal to zero, which implies that a prime does not lie in a prime, which is contradiction, of course. And similarly, if a prime does not contain a prime, then there is one set which is which is missing, yeah, because um, a prime does not contain a prime yeah, doesn't contain itself meaning that psi a prime is equal to 1 uh, this, this thing here but it implies that a prime does lie in a prime it's not possible like according to our definition always exactly one of two possibilities was true but in this case neither of the possibilities would have to be true or, or both of them it's not possible that exactly one of them is true therefore a prime does not exist but since a prime was derived from from a from the set of all sets and from that uh, rule number uh, number two that we can we can take subsets then also a does not exist yeah so set of all sets is not a set i think i think this is um, this is kind of kind of nice statement because it's uh, like similar or self contradicting as as the definition of of the set yeah so um, the question is uh, how out from this how how to escape this these paradoxes and the uh, key thing is that we have to forbid sets to contain themselves yeah so so what holds that 
no set x is contained in x yeah because um, otherwise you won't be able to to avoid paradoxes uh, nowadays uh, the set theory is uh, is created um very different way like the idea is um, to not build um, the set theory according to some property sets are which which are, are somehow defined but we are going to identify some some basic sets and from them by some basic operations we are going to compose larger and larger sets yeah so ident we identify small sets and we have some operations now as union and intersection and and things like this for example mm, as a set of all subsets and from these these operations we are going to create more and more sets and so imagine that mm, there exists at least one set. Yeah. So uh, what we what we can do we can we can denote this this set A, yeah. um, and uh, this is not uh, not set of all sets as before. It's some some set. Uh, if you are going to consider set theory, it's uh, probably a good assumption that we have at least at least one set. Yeah. So what we can do is we can consider some some derivation, some subset of, of A, some subset A prime, the following formula. That uh, the formula is satisfied if and only if X uh, does not lie in A. Yeah. So this is this is very simple. The formula is true everywhere where x is not element of a. Yeah? So we have like if this will be like the, the set a, yeah? then the formula will be like one here yeah? and zero here. Okay, but what is the set a prime? A prime is set of, of all elements of a such that the formula is true but there is no such element yeah so so what what we can state now is that a prime is in fact empty set yeah which is which is our first set we and we don't essentially we don't need any other set we can just now use this this empty set and we can uh, construct uh, a hierarchy of, of larger and larger sets yeah. so we are going to use this this empty set to uh, construct numbers okay so if um, if uh, we would like to, we would like to construct some kind of like uh, natural numbers using using these these sets. Yeah. So um, so uh, empty set will be for us the number zero. Yeah. It makes sense because, uh, for example, size of the empty set is is uh, zero. So um, like what we would like to to do that we identify sizes of the sets with the numbers as as we know them yeah. but how to continue so what we can do is we can say that n is as a set which contains only one number which is n minus 1 yeah, for every other number. 
Uh, what, what does uh, this this thing means? We are basically uh, taking a parenthesis like this, and we put it around.